What's up guys? Today is day two of our journey here in the Keys and we're fishing out of Marathon, Florida. I'm fishing with Captain Dave Sugar, my good friend Chef Jamie on Sweet Enough Charters. Now I'm hooked up on a big fish. Not sure what it is. I can't stop. Yep. I was reeling though. There's nothing I could do. Have fun. <laughs> That sucks. All right, just lost my fish. Got to get another one. All right, so I've switched up my gear, um, and I'm actually using now very heavy gear in order to get these fish in today. It's very sharky out here. And my last fish definitely got sharked. So I've already caught a couple yellowtails, beautiful fish. I can grab him. Oh man, he's a bloody mess. Check him out. Awesome fish. They taste really yum. They taste delicious and they fight real good. And it's a, actually just a lot, really fun fishing trip. Nice. Sweet. Kill Neil tail over here. Not a bad little hole for the first spot. We're gonna go, go a little deeper and catch some big fish. Hopefully, Jamie can get some big groupers and civilians and something else. We're doing pretty good, we got plenty of dinner. We need some red in here. We need some red, groupers, muttons. Let's go get them. No groupers, Brian. No, oh, it's not grouper season? No, See, what do I know? I just used the camera. <laughs> this camera's in season, everybody, don't worry. It's safe. Camera's safe. We are really looking for the fish. We left our yellowtail spot and we uh, have encountered a slow bite the last couple hours, but we're continuously moving just to different wrecks and different areas, and we keep dropping down our baits. I'm using a, a mutton rig, a special mutton rig with a, th a three-way swivel, which is pretty cool. Well, actually two swivels involved, but um, we're just trying our best to catch fish. We're using live pinfish as bait, and um, if we don't get a hit within five minutes of a drop, we end up pulling our baits and we move to the next spot. So it's just continuous moving and finding, you know, what fish want to bite. We see them on the screen, but they're just not biting. And you can see here, I've got my my setup here. I have a swivel attached here, free swivel with two beads. And then we have the other swivel on this side with my 15 to 20 foot long, I believe this is 40 pound leader. Yep. And uh, you can see right here, I'm going to be using a circle hook. And right here I've got a circle hook, a, what size is it? An eight aught circle hook. And I've got a little top, uh, a little uh, white grunt on as bait. How's those cuts feel, Sizzle? They hurt really bad, especially when the salt water hits them. They sting really, really bad. No fun. The tiniest cut in the world, but it hurts so bad. All right, people catch a couple fish. Darcy had a bite. Got a jack in the boat, I'm gonna have some Coca-Cola and get amped up for some jigging. All right, I'm using this uh, knife jig from Blue Blue. And of course, I got my new Hanta rod. I don't know if you can see that or not. No. Sizzle lost a cush it. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. I know the other one's in your bag. See how good jigger I am? Who's got one on here over here? I'm gonna, I might even actually catch a fish, everybody. Oh, he lost it. Finally got one, guys. Come on, bro. Let's see if we can get into the boat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's got kingfish. All right, got a little kingfish, guys. And my D hooker worked, but at least I got one. Whew. Now when you catch those kingfish, they got very sharp teeth, so you gotta check your leader. This is frayed, I gotta retie. Oh, nice job. I had no fighting, no jerking. Just started reeling because it was like, I thought I was getting stuck on the bottom. All right, I'm not sure what's going on over here. Hopefully you have a fish. Oh yeah, I do. You're right. What is it, what is it, what is it? What is it? Oh my gosh, I just caught a lionfish on hook and line. Absolutely delicious fish. 
very highly venomous, right? Very highly venomous. Highly, <laughs> highly venomous species of fish that has like over 16 poisonous barbs, venomous bar barbs. Captain and, Dave, uh, are you gonna show us which barbs are cut off? I cut them all off. Let's cut them all off. He's hold on. Right now. Hold on, hold on. I already cut off the uh, pectoral fins already. Now we get these dorsal spines here. That's a decent sized fish. Yeah. Got a nice fillet off of him. I think nice. he's all done. These are all soft. These don't have anything. Wow, I didn't know that. Dude. No teeth. This one has been detoxified. Yep. He had a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome fish. And that by I the just way, caught. I did call that when you were reeling it up halfway. I said it looks like a lot. He of totally fish. did. Yeah. He like I yeah. told him what. It, Explained what happened. The line just went tight, like I was on bottom. And he's like, "That's a line fish," and sure enough, I caught a line fish. And um, they are really delicious if you haven't had one before. And if you ever do catch them on your own boat or with friends or whatever, you need to make sure you keep them. Don't release those fish back into the ocean. They are totally overpopulating our our uh, native species and just killing everything in sight. So they're a big no-no. And the more you catch on hook and line, the better, I guess. All right, so I'm back to yellowtail fishing. I gave up bottom fishing. The fish just are very, the bottom bite is very slow. So, and Captain Dave just caught a big yellowtail. I think it was like 22 inches, which is like considered a flag yellowtail. It's big. But yellowtailing is really simple. And I've explained this in previous videos with Captain Dave Sugar of Sweet Enough Charters. But it's a really fun method for the family. And you can use heavy or light tackle. Um, and we're on the reef and we're in about 80 foot of water. And basically we just throw back a little piece. We got a little snapper hook here. And this is specifically designed for yellowtail. And it's got a little weight so it sinks. And then uh, we've got a little piece of Anita on here. And I'm just gonna drift it back with the oats and the chum. And we're gonna throw a scoop of oats and chum and then I'm gonna put my bait right into the middle of that. And it's gonna drift back, very natural presentation. And the yellowtail are very smart. So if it's not sinking naturally or doesn't look natural to the fish, they're not gonna hit it. So it's a very tricky art, but once you get the hang of it, you catch a ton of them. You ready? Yep. Oh. <sighs> get that yellow tail, Darcy. I'm trying to turn them, but I can't. All right, this is a nice yellow tail. Gotta get them up. Gotta get them up from the sharks. And he hit close too. Here we go. Now he's coming in. You gotta real fast. You gotta real fast to get these fish in before big sharks eat them. They love your snapper. There you go. Oh, big, big, one, big, one, big one. Bring it right over top of here. Oh, oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, that was a big a fish! Gaffer, yellowtail! Barely hooked! Barely hooked! Oh, I gotta hold him up for the camera. Okay, Alright, just... All right, check him out! How big is this fish? How, like poundage? About two and a half. About two and a half pound yellowtail. Check him out. He's gorgeous. Put him on a measuring stick. And he's a flag too, so he's over 20 inches, hopefully, easily, I think. Squeeze the tail. He is 20, Ooh. almost 23. Just almost 23. I would call him 23. That is a big fish. Nice fillet on this guy. Definitely worth the wait for him. It took me a couple times of uh, drifting back my bait and came back with nothing, but finally got this slob. Awesome. Okay. Want a little bit of help? There you go, Darcy. Uh, Jack Screamer. You try and get to the bottom. So we can get this fish in. Okay. Uh oh. Let's go, Sizzle. Okay. Do that work. You don't work right now. Do work. 
Is your job? Get that fish in here. <laughs> Get that fish in here. Uh, Come on. Okay. 115,000 people on Instagram. Get that fish in here. They're all looking at you. I'm using my muscles. I'm getting them in. Look at that bicep. <laughs> Feel that, yeah, that bird? Yeah, I in. do. <laughs> Watch out, I can't see. I'm doing a drone shot with this fish. Oh my god. Get him going, come on, it's your job. It's your, you're at work. There he is. Get him in here. Oh, stop. Get him in yeah, that'd be a marathon. Slide over that one. Nice. Nice. Yeah, four. Yeah. Piece of fish, man. Nice. What's going on with your rod? I had that line so far out. I'm working on another one. These yellowtail are putting a whipping on me. That's way the hell back there, right? Big time. Yeah. And they dig. They're diggers, man. Yeah. It's like catching legal, uh, legal mutton, you know, like a barely right. legal mutton. Yeah. But they fight a little different. Yeah. Oh no, he's going to your spot, Darcy. Oh, he is down there. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nope. Oh. Uh, now you got eight. He got El Charco. <laughs> these big muttons, man. I mean, these big yellowtails, man. They are smart. All right, all right, all right, all right. Keep that shark occupied. Oh, he is digging. I've got color. Please come up. Nice tail. Nice come one. It's a good one. Ooh, baby! Oh, Look at their man. stomachs! Oh man! And I'm Chef, getting chili, Chef Jamie's I'm getting up. chili dog by a shark. <laughs> Sorry, oh, sure. dude, that is a looker. <laughs> we are feeding them good back there. Their bellies are totally full. They are just feasting on our chum and oats. And they're eating healthy because they're eating oats. <laughs> <laughs> Chum bag. Yeah, he's over here by the engine. God, God. Oh my God! Oh, wow. over here. Oh, oh my God! They're getting bigger, aren't they? They're getting bigger. Oh my goodness! Been about. These things fight. I'm just really shocked how hard these big yellowtails fight. They are no joke. You got a 24-incher. 24 24-incher. Oh, That's a legal kingfish That's king a three-pounder. That's a three-pounder. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Man. That's my biggest yellowtail ever. Totally awesome. All thanks to Captain Dave Sugar of Sweet Enough Charters, which you guys have to check out. He's out of Marathon, Florida, and he does all kinds of great stuff offshore. You can go on a swordfish trip, you can go on a yellowtail trip, you can go wreck fishing, whatever you want to do, he'll put you on the fish. So, awesome flag yellowtail. Whoop. And his information will be in the description below. The sun is setting and it's time to go home, but we had an epic day on the water offshore fishing. And I want to give a big special thanks to my friend Jamie here for inviting us out out of Marathon, Florida. And this is Hanad, right? Anad, Anad. I'm sorry. This is Anad, 
And um, also big thanks to Captain Dave for putting us on the fish today. We caught a ton of fish for dinner, yellowtail snapper, bunch of zeros. I think it was like an epic zero bite this morning and caught a monster. What was that, like 10 pound zero? Yeah, about 10 like pounds. Like 10 pound zero. Awesome day, just nonstop action. We were looking for those muttons on the wrecks, but unfortunately we didn't hook one, but that's fishing. But um, make sure you like this video for me, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.